Welcome back to Love of Cars. Today I've started taking the bolts off of the sump. There was three really long ones just near to the gearbox here. Not 100% sure where that joins but it looks like there's a couple of bolts going into the actual sump. So I'm going to carry on undoing all the ones around the edge and then once that's done I shall put the jack underneath and then slowly lower it down so that it doesn't get damaged on the way it drops. So that's my next job is just to get all these bolts off, undo them, put them on the floor and get them out of the way so that it doesn't get damaged in any way. One, two, three, four, four long bolts. Right, okay, so now I'm gonna undo this now. Okay, so all those bolts are from around the edge of the sump is off. And now the only ones that are holding it, apart from the actual seal, is this bolt here and that one there. So once we've undone those, I've now got the jack underneath, so it's got us got it in place then it's just a matter of taking it out by knocking it with a hammer just to loosen up the uh, seal around the gasket if there is a gasket I think these ones just have the um, sort of glue put around the edging so that's our next job to undo those two okay all those bolts are out so the ones around the edge in here were all 10 mil the one in there and there was a 13. Uh, just sort of sprayed uh, WD-40 on them Friday and yes yeah, released them so the only thing we've got to do now is crack this off and then lower it down so that'll be my next job. Just gone around all the bolts made sure they're all off so now all we have to do is just prise it off with a screwdriver. It should just come away. This one looks like it's quite a hefty one, so that's why I've put the jack underneath. But what I'm gonna do is just tap it a little bit, put the screwdriver in there, and then hopefully ease it off, and then just lower it down with the jack just to the floor, and that way it's not gonna drop anything or break when it comes out and just make sure you just don't hit these pipes here you don't want to damage those so that's our next job to get the sump off so as you can see it's lowering now coming down on the jack slowly that pipe's popped out so that's good it's not damaged anything so that's just going to come down so then i'm just going to keep uh, bringing that pan down slowly okay so it's just tapping on there so just got to move it around so it doesn't hit any part of the uh, wires and uh, pipes that are under here so that's what I'm gonna do now so it's now off, sump's off, we now have access to the engine, the bottom and the bearings are all under there, so I'm now just going to unbolt this, which is the thing that sucks all the oil out of this sump, clean the sump up as well, and then we can check to see what, if any, of those pistons and the uh, cam rod is damaged but it's looking good so next job now is just to clean up and unbolt these little bits off and clean up the engine so uh, that's the next job on the, the horizon okay so I've just uh, dropped it completely down just drained the oil out and as you can see there's quite a few metal shavings in there so what I'm going to do is clean this whole sump up and then uh, find out what part of that engine is breaking away could be the 
bearing still but it's probably not it's not going to be as simple as that is it it's going to be something like the piston rings and all that lot that's chafing so i'll have to get those machined but yeah that's looking good so i'll just clean all that up now and then get on to the next job unbolted that from the engine that obviously sucks up all the oil into the engine itself so that's just going to be left in there I'll spray some cleaner in there as well so that gets into just in case there's any metal shavings in there um so though yeah that was 10 mil bolts two of them so that'd be clean now inside that siphon there is a few metal pieces in there as you can see it's just gleaming in there so I've put some spray cleaner in there and then what I'll do is I'll use some air from the compressor to blow that out just make sure you wear glasses or goggles when you're doing this because you don't want these fragments going in your eyes okay so we may be in some luck here I've just uh, moved these and they are in movement they shouldn't be moving at all they're supposed to be sealed correctly so i'm guessing it is the actual bearings on these that are gone and they're all sort of moving about so i'm going to be replacing all of those seals of the bearings and then fixing it all back together again and hopefully fingers crossed we'll get rid of engine engine knocks so we're just going to be undoing these now again looks like a 10 mil but i think they're a different socket to the norm so we're going to be trying that now getting those removed one by one checking the actual uh, underneath the bearing itself to see if there's any signs of wear but the way they're moving about that's obviously the noise you're getting I mean looking up there if you see where the piston comes up and down its shaft there's not actually any movement or any sort of wear on those at all they're looking really good there in that area there they look quite tight in there, so I don't believe it is anything to do with that. So we'll change these first and see how we get on with that. I have some good news at last. I've managed to remove that piston end piece and look at the chafering on that loads missing on that look the well, whole side's gone that just thought flipped out as soon as i hadn't done it so that is the reason why there was some knock so now we got to do is replace this one and then go to the next one but that's the best news that could have ever happened really at least I know why there was knocking coming from the uh, engine. Okay, so what I've done is I flattened that piece that came out, the damaged part, and pushed it up into that area there so that this then brings down the other side. So now we can get the new one, push that up in there, and then that will then in turn pull the older one out and the new one will sit in there nice and snug and then we can put the bottom end in and that will finish that one off so I'll let you know when that's all done these are the uh, new ones I've purchased so I'm going to cut these out now and replace every single one because I think that's always best to make sure that they're all sitting right so we're going kind to of remove these ones now from the packaging. So after some careful persuasion, the other ones came out now. So I push that around using the flat head of that. Um, so that's a lot easier. It is a bit of a pain, but 
if you persevere with it. The way I did it was actually using this tool here, the magnet, because once you push this so far, you can literally just grab it on there and just slowly feed it around, slowly feed it around like so, and it slowly comes out and then it just falls out. So now we can change that one to this one and the other one on the other side and then tighten that one up and that's at least one done.